Oh wow, uh, tomorrow is my birthday, uh, tomorrow I turn 33, yes. um, I didn't do a video this week because um, I was just, I had a lot of things that I was trying to process throughout this week and I figured that uh, I might as well come at you guys with uh, some little bit of tidbits things that I have picked up over my 33 years of life and uh, this is not advice this is not a to-do list for you guys this is just my thoughts things that I think make sense to me given my life experiences up until this moment I even wrote them down just so I don't mess up okay <laughs> so we're, I'm gonna be talking about uh, things that affect or things that are have been categorized as important to us in this day and age uh, we're gonna start with the most uh, most trivial and build up to the most significant okay so uh, the first thing on my list is uh, social media social media is 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 so important to us in this day and age it is very very important because our lives revolve around it uh, you may hear people say all this weird things about oh I don't do social media or oh, I'm too mature for that shit no no social media is important like 80% of our businesses today run on social media okay so it's not about immaturity not about anything it's just knowing and understanding how to use this tool in the best way to suit you now about this uh, I have one simple rule about social media it's very very easy just do what works for you that's it just do what works for you but on the flip side of this what works for you will not work for everybody so you need to understand that there are some people who are gonna come at you no matter what you put up they are gonna wanna tear you down they are gonna wanna uh, find flaws in your process and you have to roll with the punches you have to be able to take this in and find a way to make it work for you because more often than not I am finding people ranting on social media with guys in their comment section simply based on that person's opinion that's their opinion it doesn't have to affect what you are trying to do especially as a creative we have people who are out here like right now everybody's dissing on Mbaramba I don't know if it's Mbaramba Mbaramba <laughs> I, I don't know his full name but that's that's his creative process okay and there are people who like it and there are people who are sharing his videos and people who are laughing at his content and enjoying it but on the other side there are people who are trying to tear him down now I don't know if he's gonna get to watch this video but hey my man keep doing what you're doing if it works for you as long as you're not hurting anybody you're not killing anybody do you man as in that's it and this goes to everybody man do you if it works for you that's all that really matters you don't need to please everybody okay moving on work now like I said we're gonna it's gonna get more and more intense as we go along so yeah work uh, now this is a sensitive one okay um, depending depending on where you work depending on what you do there are two ways that you can approach your job let's first start with the people who are employed now if you're employed and you are working a nine-to-five employment is basically uh, you put aside the risk you let your employer take on the risk of making a business function and you sacrifice a couple of hours in your day for a guaranteed paycheck at the end of the month okay now if that works for you and and you're okay with it cool but still like I said there are two ways that you can look at employment uh, way number one there are I'm gonna start with the positive there are some places that uh, you actually have promise in your job uh, let me explain that you are able to know that if I apply myself if I work hard if I do my best I can grow I can get better I can become 
something than what something better than I was yesterday. And that's great. If you're in such an environment, man, that's amazing. You should really appreciate the people who put you there, okay? And if that is your state, then do that. Apply yourself. Wake up every morning and find the best way to do your job that is better than yesterday. That's it, okay? Now, on the other side, there are people who are in environments that basically fulfill their responsibilities. As in, what I'm trying to say is, your job is basically that. It gives you money to sustain your life. You don't really enjoy it. You don't really have a passion for it. But it's a means to an end. Now, if you're in this situation, uh, it, it's either your fault or it's not your fault. I don't want to point fingers here. But... Um, you can also get it into your mind and know that this is what I'm trying to do. This is what I have to do to be able to do what I want to do on the other side. So wake up, get dressed, go to that office, buckle up, do your job and go home. You don't need to over apply yourself in an environment where you are not able to flourish. But on the other hand, you still need to meet your quotas to be able to justify your employment. So, go to your job, do it, go home. That's it. Most people in this, I would really advise you, if you're in this uh, hamster wheel, where uh, all you're doing is just a means to an end, you need to find something on the side that gives you that passion. Something that actually makes you want to wake up in the morning. Something that makes that hamster wheel worthwhile. Okay? So that when you know and you're working and you look at the clock and it's only 11 a.m. And you still have about six hours to go in your day. You understand and you know why you are doing this. Like if you're trying to build something, you know that all this... This sacrifice is for that accomplishment. It will help you process whatever you have to do here to be able to fulfill that. And one day you're going to have to take that leap because you can't stay in that grind forever. Okay, You're going to have to wake up, finally say, okay, I believe I have done what I can do in this environment. I need to be able to go apply myself in an environment that... I actually want to be in okay whether it means your own job whether it means your own company whether it means your own hustle or better yet whether it means a different employer okay because moving jobs is also uh, encouraged because uh, different challenges you learn new things you meet new people you never know where this new relationships you form will take you okay so like I said about work Oh yeah, one more thing, one more thing. Yeah, they are the self-employed guys, or the guys who are doing their own thing already, okay? Now, on this one, it's very cut and dry, okay? You just have to work your ass off. It's, it's that simple. Just get up every day and work. Whatever it is that you, well, whether you... Whether you fix curtains, whether you make beds, well, I don't care what you do. Just get up every day and do your best. There is this whole gimmick about, oh, don't work hard, work smart, fine. But one thing you need to understand is that both of these things involve work. So you need to get up and work. Okay. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Relationships. Now, uh, my, my relationship advice, or sorry, I said this is not advice. This is just thoughts. My thoughts in this is whether it's friendship, whether it's dating, whether it's uh, uh, friends with benefits, I don't, I don't really know. Uh, do not put yourself or do not leave yourself in a relationship where you are not valued or appreciated. It's that simple. Do not put yourself in a relationship or in a place where you feel unvalued or unappreciated. Once you understand that, once you understand your value, once you understand what you deserve, you will never settle for less so it's like i said very cut and dry i'll say it one more time do not put yourself in a relationship or a place where you feel unappreciated don't do that to yourself okay 
Um, marriage. Uh, I can't. I can't speak much on marriage. I think I'm only two, two and a half years in this thing, so I'm not gonna try and claim to be a, a marriage guru or anything like that. But um, in the little experience that I have to this moment, what I can say is, uh, marriage is work. Marriage is work every day. You wake up and you do the work. And um, if you're not ready to put in that work, then I don't think you're ready for marriage. It's just my thoughts. Okay. Uh, and lastly, a child will not fix a broken marriage. Uh, if, you're, if your marriage is already going down the, the shitter, a child is not going to fix that problem. You need to fix your problems before you can even think about having a child. Because if you think a child is going to fix your debilitating marriage, basically all you're working towards is shared custody hearings or divorce proceedings. I, I don't really know where you're going to end up, but it's one of the two, okay? <laughs> and uh, lastly, lastly uh, is uh, life. Uh, this is it man this is all you got uh, you were born one day and you're gonna die one day it's 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 that simple it's that cut and dry so I uh, my uncle once told me something and he said your life is made up of two dates and a dash the date you were born the date you die and the dash in between that's what they put on your tombstone, okay? Uh, the day you were born, a dash, and the day you died. So, the point of life is to fit as much into that dash as you can. So, understand that, and it, it can be cold and chilling at times when you think about your mortality, but at the same time, it can be uplifting with the fact that it makes you understand that your time on this planet is not infinite and you need to make the best of the little that you have so what I can tell you on life is this find your happiness I don't know what makes you happy but find your happiness and hold on to that shit with both hands do not let it go for any reason it doesn't really matter if that is what makes you happy, whatever it is. Find it, own it, appreciate it. And do your best to keep smiling every day. Um, <laughs> I know this video is more serious than most. Um, uh, my aspirations are to be a comic, but every so often you need to have a real conversation. And this is just one of those times, especially it always dawns on you when uh, birthdays come around especially for me uh it makes me realize that i'm getting older it makes me take analysis of my life about where i have come from to where i am right now and um i'm not doing great but i'm good and i like that and i'm okay with that my name is ricky nelson and thanks for watching